Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. All right, Virgo, it looks like it's much of the same, but a little bit better. Things are going to get better. You're going to have some time to socially relax, retreat, vacation. Uh, it does have to involve others, though, Virgo. So let's get into it and see what we find out. What is this? October 2024 until Crystal Power Tarot for Virgo in October. All right, Virgo, whatever I'm tapping into, it shows that you have the Eight of Cups. The energy or atmosphere of October for Virgo is accept situation without resistance. So that's essentially what Virgo is entailing or is life. Um, you know, all this abundance doesn't bring happiness. Um, the whole thing about money doesn't buy happiness is that we haven't learned to struggle enough um, in the right, right way or in a way that makes us grow our muscles or our character, our development, our level ups, our advancements, our evolution, our adaptations, our skillful developments, these kinds of things, Virgo is really what life is really about. It's not the money. And I think that's what this is a reading is about, Virgo. Because it's, you're showing here that we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, which means spiritually you're not sure of your place in the world. So you're, you're spiritually either not sure of your spiritual place in the world or if there is a spiritual place for you in the world or something like that. Your intellectual is the Three of Pentacles in reverse, which is... Um, <clears throat> showing your work and others not giving you support or at least you think that way you think that others aren't giving you the support you need or the support that needs to be implemented to go where you need to go or where people want to go or the way the market wants to go or whatever it is that we're talking about here your emotional aspect here Virgo is intuition guides you to the truth well, actually, it's in reverse, so it doesn't guide you to the truth for some reason. Your heart is not leading you in the right direction for some reason. I think this is because you've been blinded by the obsession of what makes a value is the money, and the money is of value. So now that is what's of value because the value is of money with that facilitates and dictates what anyone is allowed to do in this world. It depends on the amount of money they can make. So... You're not feeling successful with the 3D realms, your health, or your life, or your home, or whatever keeps you in this earth reality and your body sustained. King of Wands in reverse is successful in all you do. Well, you don't feel that way. It's in reverse. So you're not successful in all you do. The economy just keeps getting worse. The pound of egg, or the pound of meat get, keeps going up. The eggs keep going up. The milk goes up. The gas goes up. The doctor's bills goes up. 
the rent goes up, the mortgage goes up, everything's going up, and my, I'm not getting more paid more. People aren't getting paid more to where they can give me more if I do side hustles. There's an issue here with the give and take of our economic situation. And it could also be health if that's not the issue for you. Socially here, we have the uh, trust, nine of cups, trust in the flow of life. You are not trusting in the flow of life socially with others. There's some kind of social disconnect or Aquarius disconnect recent that happened in all the abundance you're ob obtained or you were obtaining or you were working on obtaining or wherever you are in your situation with your career and finance. Socially now, people aren't wanting to work or want not wanting to do things anymore or like disconnecting from each other or at a tug of war or fighting over things or arguing over who's right, who's wrong, uh, potentially leading to worse or situations where people want to fight over everything. And that's why you're in this, I accept my situation without resistance energy, because Virgos are usually pretty smart about dealing with people, like, you know, that's their expertise, generally in the marketplace and, you know, that kind of thing. And knowing how to interact with others and getting value and developing value and working values and stuff like that. Well, there's a lock on it well, socially and there's a lock religions playing apart pisces and neptune's climaxing pluto is bouncing into capricorn for the last time so capricorn may be off with your head kind of energy <clears throat> with the pluto issue transformation last chance there's a lot going on virgo and you're kind of almost caught up in the middle of it with taurus now because i just did taurus earlier now we got to see where Capricorn's at, but right now, Virgo, this is about you, Virgo. So we're going to dive into the Oracle readings. If you're a member, you'll be able to see it. If not, you're going to have to wait till the end of the month. Um, if you're watching this at the end of the month, then you know what's up. You weren't a member, so that's why you're watching it in the month, because I revealed it for you to watch for free. So that way you don't completely miss out, and at least you get some uh, video or some interaction with the Oracle reading. Uh, other than that, like, subscribe, share, and I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.